So the last thing I want to show you is actually how we do uh, a little bit of flow graphing for a scripted event. So what do I mean by a scripted event? I actually mean a proximity or some sort of trigger. So I'm going to put a proximity trigger within the level here. And this trigger just, uh, all it's going to check is uh, whether my player is going in. Um, and then if he goes in, it's going to do something. And that's what I'm going to set up within the flow graph here. So what we'll do to make a flow graph is down on the right hand side, I just have the uh, flow graph tool. I go create, I'm going to call new scripted event. All right, so I can add my trigger. And as you can see here, I get some outputs. So I have on enter. So when my player enters it, I can output a true. So that's pretty easy. But what do I want to have happen? All right, uh, I got some ideas here. So I've got these two pieces here. I'm just going to move them in the way. Oh, uh, whoops. That's not good. So we move that uh, into uh, the little hole here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put a couple more pieces just above this, and I'm going to apply an action impulse onto one of them, action impulse being just a physical impulse, so that they all come flying down as the player comes through that proximity trigger. Simple example, but again, very real applications. So I've got two of these, and all I have to do is go add node, physics, action impulse, and uh, I just put the value in here, so I'm going to say negative 10. So on enter, activate this impulse. Now, that might be enough, but maybe I want to do a couple more things uh, when he does go through that trigger. Oops. All right, I have a particle effect here, and if I reload scripts on it, you can see that it's a nice little dirt sort of particle effect playing. And uh, all I have to do is go add selected entity, and on enter, I want to restart that particle effect. Alternatively, uh, what I like to do is put a little time delay on that, because that proximity trigger is a little far back, so if I give it about a one second delay, it should be pretty good. So like you can see, I just add this little time delay. I go enter, in, out, and to restart. And finally, to really finish this one off, I'm going to add a camera shake when it happens. And that's really easy to do by going camera, view shake. Uh, this is one of the new nodes for uh, CryEngine 3. Um, this is really nice because it actually has some presets. Before, I used to have to write out all these values, like angle 0.7, shifts, and frequency, and all this stuff. Um, but sometimes I can't be bothered with that. I just want to grab a preset. So I'm going to say close explosion. That seems pretty good to me. And I just output this one to trigger. So again, I don't have to save anything. And I'm, I'm going to do this right on the Xbox rather than on the PC. So I'm just going to move back within the environment here. And to finish off the demo, let's see if this works. All right, so I drop my player in. And uh, we know that that trigger is just in front of us. So as we approach the trigger, we should have the uh, action impulse fire. And whoa, no firing. Stand by one sec. Reload scripts on this one. All right. Oh, there she goes now.